so I've just given her, this is a uh, shorn fleece from the really, really ultra rare breed of Irish sheep called the Cladore that I'm part of um, the group that are trying to resuscitate the breed. Mm -hmm. And you spin and weave and you used to breed Shetland sheep. Yes. And you know your wolves because you used to teach as well. Yes. And so what do you think of this fleece as a spinning, weaving, felting? Well, um, I probably wouldn't felt it because it's so fine. I would rather spin it because it has very, um, well, very uh, fine, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, micron count. Yes. And so then when you do this, you're going to get some pretty fine sheep wool here. I can do it. Now, this would be really the old fashioned way to spin. Yes, by hand. Yeah. So look at that. How beautiful is that? And ply it up. Well, I did totally spin up. Didn't have the whole thing, but this is lovely. So that's a really, so you're, this, this is the kind of fleece that you as a craft spinner, weaver, knitter would be looking for. Yes. And of a quality, how would you compare it to say Shetland? Would it be almost an equivalent? I think it's finer. And I had some pretty low micron sheep, like 17. And, and this was, uh, this is much finer than that. And there is crimp to it. It's a fine crimp, not the wavy crimp that I'm getting with the, the Shetlands. Now crimp, to those who don't know what crimp is. Oh, you can see it here. It's the wavy, the wave. Oh, the, I don't know, the old fashioned ladies used to do this on purpose, crimp their hair. But see, I can hold it relaxed or I can pull it out. But, um. That gives it the loftiness in the yarn and also in the wearing of it. So it traps air and keeps you warm. So, well, that's really nice that you f feel it's a better quality even than Shetland because- Well, don't tell the Shetland breeders. No, I won't tell the Shetland breeders, but I hate to tell you you're on video saying it. <laughs> I think it's didn't lovely. Get her name yet. Oh, no, no, we did in the last video. So, but these, this that. is, you're really liking this. Yeah, I want to take some home. I don't want to ruin my suitcase though. Oh, oh, that was the other thing. I didn't test the strength of this. Okay, so test the strength. Okay, so this is a single ply, very light. Lightly spun on mm -hmm. your leg in a yeah. traditional manner. Yeah, let's look at it a little more. Let's see. That's very strong. You know, a lot of times uh, people make the mistake of, of using uh, knitting yarn that's commercially made knitting yarn and it's not strong enough. It doesn't hold the the um the torque and in, in the yarn and so that's the right word but um and it breaks constantly while you're weaving oh interesting yeah so you really need something that's strong enough to withhold the tension on a full um uh, loom that's very interesting well i can't even break this look i'm pulling this i can't even break this look how fine it is yeah, no, you've got it very finely spun, only hand spun as well. Oh, so simple. So what did, so down the road, what we're planning to do with the fleeces at some stage, hopefully, is to auction off the fleeces. And then we'd be sending them off kind of all over the place, hopefully, mm -hmm. because it's a really, really fine fleece, isn't it? It is. I mean, I'm really glad you're kind of confirming my thoughts. I wouldn't call myself a wool expert. I mean, I have my Zwartblas purebred and my Clun Forest halfbred kind of fleece stuff here. Mm -hmm. um, and the products that I make from it here, the blankets and the yarn and the alpaca. Mm -hmm. But um, this is, wool is my passion, but I am not a crafty person. Um, so that's the difference. You so know, I'm, I'm a very simple knitter, but I'm a better weaver than anything. So, and I... I don't know if you know Theo Mormon. She's from England. She was uh, yeah. she's the one that invented uh, weaving. It's called it would be inlay weaving, where uh, your design would be on top of plain weave. And so she used to do a lot of liturgical weaving, and I took up that because at one point I couldn't decide whether to be a tapestry weaver or or, or a loom weaver. I mean a floor loom weaver. 
because I wanted tapestry weaving was too slow for me. Yeah, it's very yeah, labor and intensive. So, and so I wanted to be able to create designs faster. And so I, I adopted her uh, method and produced a lot of things. But this is for touch is really special. Oh, that is so good to hear. We'll leave it on that note. Yeah. You just said something that I had to turn the video on for again. You were saying that this clad door is so fine that you would love to do lace. It would be good for lace and Shetland is known for that, but this is finer than that to me. And so it would be beautiful for doing a, a adornment lace, not not something that would be, you Not know, table lace. Yeah, so for the adornment on clothing on, and on stuff. On clothing and stuff, because lace makers are always looking for a good, strong, soft. Yeah, it's strong. It's a very strong fiber. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great to know that um, we are, I'm championing something so good. You're going to get me into marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you into trouble with all yeah. the Shetland sheep breeders yeah, really. is what I'm doing. <laughs> right. Well, there's, there's uh, something the, for everybody. The, I, you took you the know, words right and, out of my mouth. You know, the course, you, you never would want to make a rug out of, to me, out of this or Shetland. It's no. not hardy enough. You would wear it thin in the, no time. And so you would be cozy. Well, yeah, no, yeah, you wouldn't want it to be a rug. Yeah, because yeah. it'd be worn thin in the, because it's not meant for that. Yeah, it's meant so, to be worn. Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, so um, the Connemara coast mm -hmm. would have been wet, cold, and they would mm -hmm. need a warm, wearable, hardy, hardy fleece. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what that well, is. Well, see, you don't have that much, um, uh, what do you call it, a scale. You couldn't have much scale on this, so then you're not going to have the itchiness, and you could you could make a fisherman's underwear. With it, because it's so know. fine and hardy. Yeah, and strong. also uh, warm and not scratchy. That's excellent. It is, and it is a beautiful white fleece. It is. I mean, I mean I'm surprised that it's not dirtier, really. Only very, very... Little, I mean, if I would have seen this in the shop for sale, I would think they coated the sheep. Really? And I would, I, I didn't believe in it. No, that is not coated. Yeah, but look at all, look at how little about that's that's all the dirt we're seeing right there. This would wash so you quick. You little flecks. Yeah, this would wash so easy. I have washed some fleeces that the whole tub looks like mud. And then I have to rinse it 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a very, it is a beautifully clean fleece. <laughs> yes, I am. Of course oh I am. <laughs> it was very dirty. <laughs>